Hello! Welcome back to another story time video. Today we'll be looking at this story, The Boy Who Cried Wolf. It is one of Aesop's fables, a story from a long, long, long time ago. This story, however, is one of the Usborne reading books. As you can see, The Boy Who Cried Wolf. It was rewritten by Mary McKinnon and illustrated by Mike and Carl Gordon. Love their illustrations. Let's get started with the story, okay? Here we go. The Boy Who Cried Wolf. Usborne First Reading. Based on a story by Aesop. This story is about Sam, some sheep, the villagers, and maybe a wolf. Sam lived in a little village in the mountains. That looks like a wonderful town. In the mountains, he has lots of sheep and a dog, too. He is a shepherd. Every day, he took the sheep from the village up the hill to a grassy meadow. Here we go again. He watched them from morning until evening. La 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 la. How does he look? Does he look very excited? Not very excited. Poor Sam. He doesn't want to be watching the sheep. At least he has an apple. This way, mutton brain, Sam said. Then he took them home again. Every day was the same. Same old mountains, same old trees. Sam was so lonely, and he was so bored. All his friends were down in the village. He tried talking to the sheep. How are you today? He could not talk back. Bah, they said. But they didn't have much to say. Nobody ever comes up here, moaned Sam. Nothing ever happens. One day, he had an idea. Ah, I could make something happen. Look at him. He has a plan. Do you think it's a good plan or a bad plan? He ran down the hill to the village. Help! Help! He yelled. What's the matter? Come quickly, he said. A wolf, he shouted. A wolf has come out of the forest. Everyone ran up the hill with him. Run up the hill, run! Hurry, my sheep! I'm going to go help the sheep. Puffing and panting, they reached the meadow. Of course, there was no wolf. All that way for nothing. The sheep were quietly eating their grass. And those villagers looked quite upset, wouldn't you say? The villagers were angry, but Sam just laughed. <laughs> that was funny. No, it wasn't, they said. A few days later, Sam was bored again. He ran down the hill to the village. Run! Help! Help! He yelled. What's the matter now? Come quickly! A wolf! He shouted. A wolf has come out of the forest. Some people didn't believe him. Oh, yes? We better make sure. But most ran up the hill to see. Let's run. Run up the hill. Puffing and panting, they reached the meadow. Of course, there was no wolf. The sheep were quietly eating their grass. What are you grinning at? <laughs> Sam laughed. Everyone was very angry. Sam just laughed. A week later, 
Sam was bored again. Uh-oh, what will he do? What do you think he will do? He ran down the hill to the village. All right, let's run again. Ready? Run! Run! Help! Help! There really is a wolf! Maybe it's true this time. Do you believe him? Do you believe Sam? Come quickly, he pulled. Come, let's go. But most people did not believe him this time. Just a few ran up the hill. Just a few. Puffing and panting, they reached the meadow. You think you're so clever, they said. Of course, there was no wolf. The sheep were quietly eating their grass. Now everyone was furious. Sam laughed and laughed. <laughs> the dog is laughing too. A few days later, a wolf did come out of the forest. Sam was terrified. He ran down the village as fast as he could. Help! Please help! The big bad wolf is here! Nobody believed him. <laughs> Do you think we're so stupid? I promise you, there's a wolf. He's big, he's bad, there's a wolf. Sam begged them to come with him. You have to help me. This time, they laughed at him. <laughs> Sam was crying. The villagers did not believe him. So they laughed at Sam. What will happen? Where's the wolf? Where are the sheep? Where's the dog? In the end, Sam had to go back up the hill all alone. Let's go up the hill all alone, okay? Up the hill all alone. Oh no! The wolf had killed some of the sheep. One, two, three. Oh, the rest had run away. That's good. Most of the sheep got away. Sam stayed in the meadow until it was dark. Finally, the villagers came to find him. I told you! Our sheep! No! Why didn't you believe me? He asked. Why didn't you believe me? You always told lies before, they said. I'm sorry. I've learned my lesson. The end. An interesting story about a boy who cried, the wolf is here, the wolf is here, but there was no wolf. When there was a wolf, they did not believe him, and they did not help the sheep. In the end, he learned his lesson, and he said, I am sorry. Okay? Let's read more about this story. The boy who cried wolf is one of Aesop's fables. They are a collection of short stories first told in ancient Greece around 4,000 years ago. It's a very long time ago. Nobody knows exactly who Aesop was, but the stories are still popular today. And they are known all around the world. See a lion and a mouse. That's a famous story, right? The stories are often about animals, and they, have, they always have a moral, a message, or a lesson at the end. The moral of this story about the boy who cried wolf is, no one believes liars, even when they tell the truth. So if you're a liar, people will not believe you, even when you tell the truth. The end. Again, that is all for today. Thank you guys for joining me on today's story. The boy who cried wolf, this is a great story, a wonderful book, and I'm glad that we could share this together. I'll see you next time for our next story, okay? Goodbye!